today we're gonna do some more slang translations shout out to corporate though because he really kind of put a lot of this chicago slang videos on the map now you should follow suit and just get to the bay people gonna talk either good or it's bad let's see people gonna talk either good or it's bad we are back 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 on the empress king show back 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 Today we're gonna do some more slang <laughs> translations. Chicago ones do it better. If you don't know, now you know. Period. All right, enough of that. First word is slide. Slide just means come through, like pull up. I'm about to come to your place that you are currently located at. Or if you're telling someone to slide, you would like them to come to where you're currently located. You know what I'm saying? Like pull up on a kid, hey, pull up. On a kid, yes, come through. There you have it. The show. We don't say the movies in Chicago. Nobody really says let's go to the movies. We'll say I'm about to go to the show. Let's go to the show so we can go see Bad Boys 3. It's the show. Whole time. Shout out to Corporate though, because he really kind of put a lot of this Chicago slang videos on the map. But you know, in a lot of his videos, he's like, whole time, no. Whole time. That shit was fake busting whole time. My folks was in. So if somebody says whole time, typically they just had a revelation. For example, yeah, you trying to go to the show this weekend? Instead of me saying, actually, I can't. I'll say, whole time, no, I can't even go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you hear what's it called? Was into a fight last week? Whole time, no, I did hear they was beefing. I ain't gonna fake it. Bro, a friend. It doesn't even really have to be a brother. It doesn't even have to be a guy. Bro is just how we address each other when you're speaking to a friend. But a girl can say it to another girl. It can come off in an annoying way. Somebody steady talking to you and you ready for them to stop talking like, bro, shut up. Or it could be like, bro, guess what? Bro, it's just a way that we address each other. Bro, bro, bro. Merch. Please verify. Merch is a way we say it, swear to God. Please verify what you're saying is factual. For example, yeah, you know the baby gonna be at prison on all-star weekend merge meaning for real put that on something merch it's just basically like you wanted somebody to verify something on phone them that's actually a gang affiliated term i mean but people just use that freely now on phone them on the guy on me on baby all of these are just terms to verify something another way of saying merch emphasizing the seriousness of the prior statement you really just emphasizing the seriousness of what you're talking about damn g kobe really gone phone them that's wow really just agreeing with what they saying pole pole is a gun, pole, pipe, tool. These are all terms to describe a gun. I got the tool on me, I got the pipe, I got pole. I don't associate with guns, I don't like guns, but hey, guns, germs, and steel, whatever, it's what brings power to people. I don't like guns, they're too loud, I think they're dangerous, but yeah. Pole, pipe, tool, always to describe a gun. Slugging, poking, this is always to describe a girl's derriere, a girl's backside, a girl's bootay, meaning she looking thick, her booty just popping, she's slugging, ooh, she's slugging, or she poking, like, her booty is poking out. All right, so that's all I have for the Chicago terms and phrases. Stay tuned for part three.